Well, this is certainly a different look. No work clothes. Wife's car. Well, today's gonna be a little bit different of a day. I have been uh, requested, summoned, if you will. I'm headed to uh, the train station right now. I'm going downtown. Going downtown to the uh, what would be no what is known around here as the Crowley Building, the Frank Crowley. Uh, court building in da in downtown Dallas. It is the uh, it's the criminal court for DFW. I am uh, I have been uh, jury summoned to be on a jury. So we'll see if I actually get picked. This is a uh, little bit of an inconvenience, but it's more more convenient than last time I was uh, summoned put it to you that way I uh it's uh end of October almost so things are slowing a little bit I uh I got caught up yesterday or I should say I got ahead yesterday um I got all the maintenance all the yards cut for today so uh, the only jobs I have left for today are a couple of bed maintenance jobs and uh weekly limb and trash pickup jobs which I can accomplish assuming I get out of here at a reasonable time I can still accomplish uh, at the end of the day and stay ahead <clears throat> last time I went down here it was uh, I believe it was April or May of 2022 and if you know anything about that uh, if you know anything about that time of the of uh, my life that was the beginning of a very dark very very bad time in my life I uh, I uh, it was the spring for one so it was very hard to get down here and not lose out on work but I um, I also uh, had that hernia at the time that was the very beginnings one of, that was you know close to the beginnings of the time I had that hernia and I was in I was hurting and uh, I didn't even have a uh, I didn't even have a belt or any type of thing to help me manage that back then that was you know before I was even diagnosed but I knew I had a problem and uh they uh they don't care you know you're you're summoned to jury duty you're you're going down there they don't care you know so I was sitting on that train and you know I had to walk that mile and a half or however long from the train station to the court building and you know I had to get in there in the court building go to the bathroom and put my damn groin back in place <laughs> and then go back and you know only to be sent home so it was one of those things where I uh I, I was able to get out of there relatively quickly and it was great it was great for me but you know I was I wasn't in a very good place and um I'm in a much better place now both uh, financially and um physically I'm in perfect health right now physically so I'm uh just gonna go down here to the train station and ride on this train downtown and uh enjoy some sights and sounds I haven't seen in a long time if I can quit hitting these stupid red lights jeez this intersection is kind of rough a lot of accidents happen at this intersection. Valley View Lane and Josie Lane. A lot of intersection. A lot of, a lot of accidents happen here. I've actually seen one lot real time. But, oh, yep. That's why I'm wearing a button-down shirt. I'm still wearing red. I'm not gonna not wear red. Uh, but, yep. I got my wife's truck here, so. Different day, report back in when I get downtown and we'll uh, show y'all some sights and sounds of the area maybe. So, see you in a bit. Been waiting on the bus all day. Not really, just a few minutes. The green line to Buckner. <laughs> yep, this is the one we take to get to good old downtown. 
Ooh, man. At least the weather's good. At least it's not raining. Not terribly, not terribly uh, cold either or terribly hot. It's just, it's just okay. It's fairly okay weather. Uh, this train will be here in uh, about three minutes. So get on and go see some interesting stuff. Some apartments they just built over here a few years back. Pretty built up, pretty built up little area over here. Yep. Good old Elm Street. Down here in downtown. Exactly at the spot where President Kennedy was assassinated back in the 60s. 62, 63, something like that, I forget. This building right here. The Texas Book Depository Building. Sixth floor, I believe it was, where Oswald allegedly shot President Kennedy. Over here, he got the grassy knoll, as they call it. You can see this on old uh, TV shows, too, like uh, Walker, Texas Ranger, for example, that was aired back in the 90s. You can see uh, all of these landmarks and more go ahead and see if we can get a shot of the uh, famous X on the ground. Dealey Plaza, as it's called. Pretty cool. Pretty cool historical place that I'm not too far from. Closer picture of it. Right out here, see this? These X's on the ground. That's where. Uh, that's where the president was shot and killed. You can see the famous uh, ball up there, the Reunion Tower, as it's called. So, yeah, just some uh, little sights of the area. Famous, uh, famous landmark over here. I'm leaving the courthouse. I was not selected. So, now I begin a long, about a mile, mile and a half or so walk back to the bus station. There's something going on over here. Got the county marshals. Wow. Jimmy Christmas. I better, I better cut this off before they ask too many questions. I've got to go all the way down here. There's Interstate 35 and the 30 Junction. I've got to go all the way around there. That's where I was before. And uh, not not going quite as fast as I was earlier, so. Another view of Reunion Tower here. Over here on Commerce Street. <sighs> Not a part of town I'm very I'm in very often. But here we are. And just like that, just like that, we're back in friendly territory. Good old bus stop here. Uh, get this AC going. I'm going to have some AC right now. It's a little warm out. Some workers over there eating lunch. That's what I'm about to be doing. And then I'm going to go work. Oh, so luckily for me, I did not get stuck on that trial. I, uh, I thought at one point they were going to ask us to go back down and see if we were needed to serve the court anymore the rest of that day. But fortunately, 
they told us no get on out of here so that's what i did got my return pass and i was headed out it's not often that i uh it's not often that i go downtown it's not that downtown dallas is that bad of the oh, area what the heck uh-oh i think i'm in Is this a one lane or what's the deal? Hmm. How the flip am I gonna get out of here? Okay. Huh. It's a one lane, I think. That complicates things a little bit. But yeah, like I was saying, the uh, luckily I didn't get stuck on this trial. So now I'm uh, headed back to the area. I, um, it is a one lane. Okay. Shit, I didn't see that down there. That is, it is a one lane. Okay. Well, we're not going to make that mistake again. <laughs> I came out of here, turned right, thinking, oh my goodness, head on right into someone driving the normal way. But yeah, this is a, that, that one says that way only. Who the flip knows? They're doing all this construction over here at the uh, uh, what's this called the Denton Drive Live or whatever they call it the Denton Drive uh, thing community center or whatever it's called I don't know they're, they're doing a bunch of construction on this so it's wrote Denton Drive all tore up but luckily for me I know the area very well we'll just detour here down Farmer's Branch Lane but yeah, like I said, I didn't get stuck on that jury, luckily. I don't think it would have been a long trial, maybe a day. Maybe the re at least the rest of today and maybe maybe another day at the most. But they were saying it was going to be a one this day only deal. But you never know how some of those can go, you know, when it's a criminal trial. Who knows? But I, um, luckily I didn't get stuck on that trial and, uh, headed out here back to the house I got uh, I did all of my normal mowing yesterday luckily I was able to push through and worked my worked my tail off yesterday and got everything done except for uh, except for two uh, bed cleanup jobs or I should say one bed cleanup and pet waste pickup job and then one uh, one that's a uh, weekly maintenance job I maintain the uh, ivy and pick up limbs and that sort of thing the uh the uh, the unyard as it's called you might have seen that on one of my videos uh one of my past yard of the week videos the unyard uh yeah I'm gonna i'd love to resume the yard of the week because i just i haven't had time to cut anything together and haven't had any time to it's it's a lot it takes a lot to make these videos you know and even my videos are super low budget you know it's just me recording with a damn camera i'm not even or the phone, you know, I'm not even, I don't have music playing in the background usually, or like beatbox, or, you know, I don't have any of that fancy stuff like aerial drone views, or anything like some of the big guys do, it's just, just a guy and a camera, and a tripod, and, you know, very minimal things, but even so, with everything going on, I just haven't had time to, haven't had time to, uh, go through and make anything, but, Luckily, this day was an interesting detour from my usual day, and uh, gave me a little bit of distraction, a little bit of a uh, little bit of fun going down there and seeing some sights I haven't seen in a few years. But it's uh, it's good to be back to the area, back to my normal area, back to um, friendly territory, as it were, and uh, back to what I normally do around here, which is cut grass. motorcycle cops back there looking for looking for speeders oh, or maybe they got somebody I don't know <sighs> as long as they don't get me I'm in good shape yep in fact I think I'm gonna cut through this neighborhood here mine's on the other side and we'll uh We'll be home soon, home free.